Hey guys, today I've uh, got a quick little video for you, um, quick little sort of a tutorial, not really at the same time. Um, just a quick um, how-to, I guess, of uh, setting some of the lighting settings on the Razer Black Widow Ultimate. Uh, there's also the Chroma out there as well, I understand uh, this isn't exactly a video for, the, for those who have the Chroma, because there, there will be many more options um, for lighting color but uh, this is specifically for the Black Widow Ultimate which it uh, it's only green, the Razer's uh, signature green color uh, but it's all LED individually um, lit keys so it's a really really nice keyboard uh, it's a mechanical keys, um, excellent for FPS gaming and uh, you know, any type of gaming really um, good for up to 60,000 keystrokes uh, really good keyboard overall, I'm happy with it so far but I figured I'd do a quick uh, tutorial on some of the really fun, I guess, or funner lighting options that you can do with it. Uh, more just show than than practical, obviously, but um, they're still fun to be able to, you know, people walk into your room and they're like, oh, that's an awesome keyboard, how's it doing that, stuff like that, right? So I just wanted to show you quickly. First of all, obviously, you need the Razer Synapse app downloaded from razorzone.com slash synapse, razorzone.com forward slash synapse. There's the uh, the website there. You'll arrive on this page here, and your downloads are Microsoft Windows on the left or Mac on the right. Select your version and download the software. Once that's installed and set up, then you will be brought to uh, the main effects page, basically the keyboard customization page. Um, you will select the lighting tab. Um, I have a couple here, obviously, already and I'll show you a couple of them but um, I'm gonna start with this custom wave one you'll go to the lighting tab and it's basically gonna start out in a a basic um, breathing effect is how you're gonna have a, a stock setting and it'll be called profile one so you can select profile one on your on your uh, install when you first get it and then over here on the right you'll see effects configurator okay so I'm gonna do custom wave one and just show you the options I have to get the, the setting you're seeing right now, the uh, the wave sweep with delay. So basically, of course, it's just a wave. There's uh, there's no key press configuration or key press options that have been added to this. Um, so you just have change your breathing effect here, or it would say the breathing effect, I guess. Make sure you have all selected so it selects all your keys, and you would select breathing and select wave like I have there. Uh, automatically I believe defaults to the first pattern in there so you would just leave that uh, leave your stops alone for now anyway color all that again same thing you can leave it at the brightest settings um, set your speed for about the speed I've got there I find 25 is a little bit fast which is their medium setting but their slow is too slow so I kinda liked 15 kind of in the gives a nice steady sweep across the keyboard that you can kinda watch happen so I chose 15 keys there uh, width is the width of the black line that travels across the keyboard okay um, you can change that I, I kinda liked 300 but you can change that to any number you want really it starts out at uh, 100 percent <coughs> excuse me I'll apply that and you can see the effect there it just makes for a really narrow band that you can hardly even see so I kinda liked the 300 400 range something like that uh, sorry, it only like lets you go up to 300. My mistake. So it just makes it a wider band, and it makes it a little bit easier to see. Uh, you can add pauses in there. I I did two seconds just to give it a little bit longer of a of a black uh, like a downtime sort of thing. Changing the angle here is going to change the angle that it sweeps across the keyboard at. Um, and like I could do a 45 degree angle there, and that would change it to traveling on a 45 degree angle across the keyboard as you see there as opposed to a square 90 degree angle across the keyboard so you can have fun with that too. change all your settings there um, splitting basically just sets it to split in the middle of the keyboard as opposed to, to sweeping from left to right which is kinda neat too it's another uh, pretty cool effect actually doing it that way and then um, there's other settings that you can do that allow you to stack different layers the thing you have to remember about stacking layers is that you you typically have to set 
your activated layer, meaning the, the key press layer, the layer that you want to happen when you key press, and there's only certain layers that you can do this with, um, you have to set your key press layer at the top. So it has to take priority over the automatic. The automatic layer will automatically play in the background basically, and then the key press layer has to be the, the top layer. So if we go back to, uh, I'll, I'll grab my custom wave two here. This is a, an, a, a perfect example of that. <clears throat> we have a breathing effect going on continuously in the background there, as you can see on the keyboard. <clears throat> but I've added a reactive layer over top of it. So now uh, I've actually got my breathing effect on the lowest light setting. It's very, very dim. So I put the reactive very bright. So you can actually still see it over top of... over top of the breathing effect, right? So it's still, it's pretty neat seeing that. Um, and then of course you can change your your uh, light um, amount to anything you want where you'll still get the key presses at any time because the reactive layer is my top layer, as you can see there. So that's basically how you'll stack layers together. If you just hover over any key here, it'll, sh it'll show you on key press. You can do reactive breathing. You can do any any combination of, of keys basically. The only one I cannot seem to program is the, the actual Razer Synapse light on, on the bottom here, the symbol, the Razer symbol. I cannot get that to change independently of these other keys for whatever reason. I'm not sure if someone else out there has an idea as to why that is or has been able to, but um, I can't individually select it and get it to light up um, on its own even with an automatic effect separately from the rest of the keyboard. So kind of interesting it seems to be tied into the space or alt or something like that down there but um, other than that it is uh, quite a bit of fun to play with you can do all kinds of uh, crazy effects and um, custom sweeps and uh, fade in fade outs and during the wave that, that wave effect you could add a, a typing effect in there like a ripple or something like that I'll show you some of the other setups that I have done uh, if we pull up, like I've got an, uh, just an idle that does the starlight effect, which is pretty cool. Um, another wave that I made, uh, even slower, another idle wave effect. And I can't remember if I had any key presses on that one, but I don't think I did. No, it's just a, just a keyboard sitting there idle effect. Uh, of course, you have you know static bright, static dim for when you're you know typing during the day or typing during the night, or you just want it steady on. Um, the surging breathing effect, which of course is what the keyboard boots up with automatically before you download the Razer app. This is the effect that you'll have uh, stock per se without uh, without actually downloading the Razer Synapse app and controlling the lighting separately from from that. This is what your keyboard will do. And then of course I did a, uh, a, a night typing, which is kind of neat, where I just kind of lit up the, the main keys that you'd use while you're typing, and then I overlaid a ripple effect to them as well. So it's pretty cool, it sweeps the entire keyboard, uh, giving you a bit of reactive, um, it's not, their re not, not Razor's reactive, but it's the ripple effect basically over top of uh, a base lit keyboard just dimly lit and I only chose those keys to light up so you can do like I say you can do any any number of combinations just play with the settings but uh, there's a few ideas to get you started anyway alright hope you enjoyed it subscribe like thumbs up if you uh, if you enjoyed this and uh, I will see you in the next video